far as playing solos, you know, when I was uh, and recording, when, when I first joined the band, I used to work my solos out. Uh, I didn't quite have the confidence to just kind of let let go. But I'm a bit more, a bit more spontaneous these days. And um, we started off doing the solos. Uh, well, well, I'd be out in the control room, and Kevin and Steve would be uh, sort of producing what I'm doing. And we did it all like that. But I did feel like I was under a bit too much pressure, though. Uh, and perhaps they'd, you know, want to go with something that I wasn't happy with. Uh, I was too close to it. So I said to them, like, I'm going to go off and do them on my own. So I went upstairs, and, and there's another studio upstairs. And I, I, I know how to work the recording gear, so I, I just did my solos again. And I think we ended up mostly with using what I did the first time around. Because uh, it's, it's amazing how you, you, your perspective is a, is a great thing. And it's very difficult to retain your perspective when you're, when you're that close to, to recording. But uh, writing on the wall, um, yeah, a few people have commented on that. I think that's the first time I've ever done a solo of that length on a Maiden album. And when normally, Jan, Dave and I would do 16 bars and that's it. That's, that's all we've ever done. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure it's all over. So I thought, well, I'm going to write myself a nice solo. It must have been my birthday or something. I thought I'd write, uh, you know, like do a 32 bar solo, which was a bit of a challenge. But, um, you know, something different. I like to try and do something different on every, on every album.